You are riding along with Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. And what if you're riding along and you notice your fuel mileage isn't as good as it used to be? Well, especially if your vehicle's a few years old, you might have an issue. What could the problem be, Adam? Thanks, Dave. So actually, one thing that's generally overlooked on a common tune-up is your oxygen sensor. And so over time, the sensors deteriorate, get contaminated, and ultimately affect performance and fuel economy and that can get worse and worse, how am I gonna know that I've got a bad oxygen sensor? Well, as I said, so not always will the check engine light come on right away, but you will notice maybe you're getting worse fuel mileage. Um, you don't really notice the, the pep that your vehicle had at one point, or sometimes you may even notice a smell coming from the exhaust, and that's all indicators of a bad oxygen sensor. So I can drive around and get crummy fuel mileage, right. or I can make a quick change, and that's gonna save me a lot of money in the long run. Exactly, actually, so with the cost of just replacing a No2 sensor on a normal tune-up, could pay for itself over the lifetime of the sensor from increased fuel economy. Well, let's talk about sensors here. You brought some in here from Walker Products. How do the sensors from Walker compare to what I would have on my original vehicle? So Walker Products O2 sensors are actually designed to be exact OE replacements for fit, form, and function. So what have you done to make sure the, the fit is like it should be? So we designed them to be just exact like the OE. So they have dual OEM shield design, rolled threads for easier installation. Okay, so you're not gonna cross thread there. Instead of the, the real sharp edges on the threads, it's, it's rolled? Exactly. Okay. OE connector and exact wire length, so you're not gonna end up with extra wire length that has to be zip tied or tied up somewhere along the underside of the vehicle. And this is not like a universal thing, this is specifically made for your vehicle. Right, so exactly what you would take off the vehicle is exactly what's gonna go back on. That's perfect. Now let's talk about the installation. What's that process like? So the installation's actually pretty simple. Some basic steps, so you would first locate the faulty O2 sensor, whether it's from an OBD2 scanner, so it'll tell you whether it's upstream, downstream, bank one, bank two, that's left and right. Disconnect the battery, lift and securely support the vehicle, unplug the O2 sensor from the vehicle harness, remove any clips or cable ties that may be securing it to the frame, and then simply just unthread it from the exhaust. You can even use one of the Walker products, specialty wrenches. When installing the new sensor, you would apply anti-seize to the threads so that it doesn't seize. Install by hand and then torque to 26 foot-pounds. With any of these, it's 26 foot-pounds? Yep. Is that the same as it would be with the OE as well? Correct. And so that torque rating actually is what's designed for the crush washer to seat properly so there's no exhaust leaks. Putting the new one in, you just reverse the process from taking the old one in. Exactly, and especially since these are going to be exact like the OE, super simple. Well, if you're noticing bad fuel economy in your vehicle, it's probably the O2 sensor. You can check out these and other engine management sensors at walkerproducts.com.